And now for number nine, we got some rationalization of roots to be answered here. So two over root five minus root three minus five over root five. Now the key to answer this question is that just be aware of this of these roots. So we could calculate one by one. So this we could calculate it with the opposite. If this is minus, this is plus. So that will be two times the bracket and this is 5 minus 3 right 2 so this is root 5 plus root 3 this one and we could calculate the rationalization of this just by multiplied by that so that is 5 over root 5 over 5 that is root 5 so that is minus root 5 the answer is root 3 the answer is B now for number 10 that is 2 over 1 minus 2 over 3 minus 3 over 2 over 3 times 6 equals what? So this is just maybe a simple uh, simple calculation here. So 1 minus 2, 2 over 3 is 1 over 3, which is 6. 3 minus 2 over, 2 over 3 is 7 over 3 times 6. So that is 11 over 3 times 6 which is 22. The answer is E. Okay, and now let's see number 11. Now number 11 stated three, root 3x three minus y equals 1, x plus y equals 2 plus root 3, and what is x multiplied by y? Now you can see that y is equal here. We could plus that so that this become eliminated, right? So that is root 3x minus uh, plus x equals 1 plus 2 plus root 3, 3 plus root 3, okay? And from this onwards, we can factorize it. And we could actually find the x from here. Just by using the principle of rationalization, multiply this y by 1 minus root 3, 1 minus root 3, so we can calculate this 3 minus 3 root 3 plus root 3 minus 3 over 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and we could, uh, cross that so it is 1 minus 2 root 3 over minus 2 the answer is root 3 okay now you get root 3 for x now you can substitute that with one of the equation here so this root 3x minus y equals 1. We know that x is root 3. So that is 3 over minus y is 1. So y is 2. So xy is 2 root 3. The answer is A. So that is for number 11. And now for number 12. Now number 12, you see that there's like a graph there. A graph that showed the function of y equals fx the line is go from that now from that graph we are asked about gx minus 1 is 2fx minus 4 minus x plus 1 fx plus 4. What is g of minus 1? This is interesting because to make this equals minus 1, we should make that x equals 0, right? So if we make x equals 0, so g minus 1 is like this with 2 of f minus 4. f minus 4 minus 1 times f4 now f minus 4 we can see that in the graph is minus 3 so 2 times minus 3 and f4 you can see that this 6 so that is minus 12 the answer is a okay so that is for number 12 number 13 
5 minus x plus 2 over x minus x over 3 equals 3. What is x? Now this is also a simple question. We just 5. Uh, this is 2 over 3x. Okay. Put 3 to up. 3x plus 6 over 2x equals 3. Multiply 2x. So it's 10x minus 3x minus 6 equals 6x. So that is 10 minus 3, 7 minus 6x, x equals 6. The answer is E. Now for number 14. Fx is 3 to the power of 2x plus 3. The composition f of gx is 27 to the power of 2x minus 1. What is g4? Okay, so basically this question is just as simple because gx is substituted into fx. So we could just say that 3 to the power of 2 gx plus 3 equals 27 to x minus 1. We know that 27 is 3 to the power of 3, right? So 3 to gx plus 3 equals 3 times 3, 6x minus 3. Because the base is the same, we could just make it together the exponent so we have 2gx equals 6x minus 6 so gx gx is 6 6x minus 6 3x minus 3 so g4 is 12 minus 3 which is 9 the answer is d